Till now we have completed three basic circuit elements and they are resistor, inductor and capacitor and now we are going to have discussion on the fourth basic circuit element known as source and in this lecture we will have discussion on dependent and independent sources. So let's begin with independent source. Independent source is the element for which both voltage and current do not depend on the voltage or current elsewhere in the circuit. So the definition is pretty straightforward. Whenever the voltage across the element is not depending on the voltage or current present in other part of the circuit and also the current through the element is not depending on the voltage or current present in the other part of the circuit, we call the element independent source. Now dependent source is the element for which either the voltage or current depends on the voltage or current elsewhere in the circuit. This means if the voltage across the element is depending on the voltage or the current present in the other part of the circuit, the source is going to be dependent source or if the current through the element is depending on the voltage or current present in the other part of the circuit then the source is going to be dependent source. To understand this let's take one example. In this example we are having this circuit and you can see that there are seven resistances but we are not concerned about the resistances we are concerned about the sources we are having and if you count we have one two three and four four sources are present. Let's name them. Let's call this source S1, source 1. This source I will call S2. This source I will call S3. And this one here is our fourth source. Now when you look at source number 1, you will find it is providing a voltage equal to 5 volts. Now the voltage provided by this source is not depending on the current or voltage present in the other part of the circuit. Therefore source 1 is going to be independent source. Now we will talk about source number 2. Source number 2 is a current source providing 10 ampere of current and again the value of the current is not depending on the current or voltage present in the other part of the circuit. So source number 2 is also an independent source. Now let's talk about source number 3. Here in this case you can see that it is a current source providing current equal to 2 times I1. So here in this case current provided by the source is depending on current I1 and current I1 is the current through resistance R1. So current provided by the source is depending on the current present in the other part of the circuit. Therefore, source number 3 is a dependent source. Let's move on to our fourth and the last source. Here in this case, we are having a voltage source and the source is giving us 3 times V2 voltage. But here again we are having V2 which is deciding the final voltage. So the voltage provided by the source is depending on the voltage present in the other part of the circuit. So S4 is going to be dependent. So I hope you now understand how to find out if the given source is independent source or the dependent source and to assist you we have a different type of representations. For S1 and S2 we have a different representation, a circle is made but in S3 and S4 we have a diamond like structure. So for independent sources we use the circular representation and inside we have the polarities or the direction of the current depending on whether the source is a voltage source or current source. But in case of dependent sources we have a diamond like structure and again to differentiate between voltage source and current source we have polarities or direction mentioned. 
Now to have the clear understanding about these representations, I have taken our next topic in which we are going to discuss how we should represent the independent voltage source, the dependent voltage source, the independent current source and the dependent current source. First we will talk about independent voltage source. Here in this case the first two representations are used for DC independent voltage source. For example 5 volt you can use either of the representations. And when you have non-sinusoidal independent voltage source, then you will use this representation, which is same as this one. This is for non-sinusoidal. For example, you have the voltage equal to E power minus T UT. Now for AC, independent voltage source, we may use this representation or we may use this representation. We use this representation when the voltage is something like 5 sin omega t and we use this representation when we have voltage mentioned as 20 angle 30. So this is for independent voltage source representation. Now we will talk about independent current source representation. This first one here is used for DC independent current source, for example, 5 ampere. And this one here, which is same as this one, is used for non sinusoidal independent current source. For example, we have 5 e power minus t ut. And these two are used for independent alternating current. This one is more accurate but this one is frequently used nowadays. We use this one when we have current like 5 sin omega t and for this representation we have current like 5 angle 30. Now we will have discussion on dependent voltage source representations. The first voltage source is known as voltage controlled voltage source. It is a voltage source. We can say that because we have polarities in the diamond structure. Therefore, it is a voltage source. And this voltage source is having the voltage as A times Vx. A is a unit less quantity. It is a unit less quantity. I will give you the reason. We are having a voltage source and therefore AVX will have the unit as volts and VX will also have the unit as volts. So A should be unit less in order to have the unit of AVX as volts. And the voltage AVX is depending on a voltage VX. So this particular voltage Vx is controlling the overall voltage or you can say that it is controlling the voltage source. Therefore, we call it voltage controlled voltage source. And this one here is known as current controlled voltage source. Why? Because voltage is equal to B times Ix. So current Ix is controlling the voltage. Therefore, we have current controlled voltage source. And this one is the voltage source, of course. Why? Because we have plus minus inside the diamond structure. And quantity B, this time is not unit less, but it is having the unit of ohm. Why ohm? Because overall Bix should have the unit volts. And ohm multiplied to unit of Ix, that is ampere, will give us unit as volt. So I hope these two representations are clear to you and therefore we will move on to the next type of representations which is dependent current source representations. In the first case you can see that we have a diamond structure and inside the diamond structure we have the arrow pointing and this arrow is pointing towards the direction of the current. And therefore, we can say that we have a current source. This one also is a current source. So we are having 
current source and this current source is depending on a voltage Vx therefore it is a voltage controlled current source and Vx will have the unit as volt therefore C should have the unit as ohm inverse or you can call it mo so ohm inverse multiplied to V will give you the unit as ampere which should be the unit of CVX now we will move on to the last representation and here in this case we have IX controlling the current source so it is current controlled current source and D is a unit less quantity it is a unit less quantity because Ix will have the unit as ampere and we want the overall unit of Dix as ampere so D has to be unit less so this is all for the representations and now we will move on to the two examples now after having the knowledge of dependent and independent sources along with their representations I will give you these two as the homework you need to tell whether source 1 that is this one source 2 that is this one source 3 that is this one and source 4 that is this one are dependent or independent and also you need to tell me whether they are dependent current source or dependent voltage source or they are voltage controlled voltage source current controlled voltage source voltage controlled current source or current controlled current source 